Hi there. I'm going to talk about what is called the T41 or T43 method for learning the polyatomic ions. So the idea is that you draw a T, you take a periodic table, you draw a T right here, and then in this area you draw a 4, and then right over here you draw a 1, T41. The problem is, is that silicon doesn't really fit that pattern. So even though it sounds good, T41 has to be maybe underscore 41. So the idea here is that with the pattern in the periodic table, we're going to track the oxyanions that end in 8 and what their formula is. And then from that, we can figure out what the other oxyanions in the family are. So if we start up here with what was T, we have borate, which is BO3, 3 negative. And then carbonate is CO3, 2 negative, and nitrate, NO3, negative. So they all have the subscript 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. So that's the pattern there in what was a T, which is really a line. In the 4, all of these are going to have a subscript on oxygen 4. So here we have phosphate, PO4, 3 negative. Arsenate, ASO4, 3 negative. Notice, same charge, 3 negative. Sulfate, selenate, tellurate are going to be 2 negative. And again, they're going to be uh, a subscript 4, but 2 negative. That's not working. 2 negative charge. So 3 negative, 2 negative. We go over here, negative 1, but these all have a subscript 3. That's why some write this as T43 uh, to, to show their uh, default subscript. So ClO3 negative is chlorate, BrO3 negative, same charge, uh, bromate, and iodate IO3 negative. So that's the idea there. So if we take one of these, we're going to take um, nitrate and then sulfate and then bromate just to show you how to get the others. So if we look at nitrate, we see that uh, starting with nitrate, we can go down one subscript on oxygen, NO2 negative, that defines nitrite. If we come over to sulfate, same idea. Remember, it started for SO4 2 negative. So if we want sulfite, we go down a subscript. SO3 2 negative is sulfite. Now we're going to take bromate. Let's get over there. Let's see if I can squeeze this in. And bromate was BRO3, right? So we're going to go down one subscript and we get bromite. But we get two more ions. If we go down one more subscript, BRO negative, that's hypobromite. And if we go back to bromate and we go up one subscript, now we have BRO4. You might want to call it hyperbromate, but it is perbromate. So that applies to the ones with chlorine and iodine. Same pattern there. And that's the T41 or underscore 41 method for knowing the polyatomic ions. Enjoy.